I went from 60 to 400 FPS and my past guides have helped hundreds of people. So I'm creating a new FPS guide for 1.20. This will also work with any future version in case you're wondering. Let's just get started without wasting any of your time. All right, so you wanna open up all of the links in the description because I put pretty much everything together here except for Fabric. I'm gonna add that in the description as well, fabricmc.net. So to install any mods at all, you need Fabric. And also obviously Minecraft, I'm using MultiMC. I'll probably do another video on that because my old one is pretty outdated, but just don't mind that for now. So step one, you download the Fabric um, installer itself. So for me, it's Windows. I'll just download this. And once you open it up, it'll load just a second. Uh, you will have to select the Minecraft version you want. For me, it's 1.20.1. 1.20.2 will probably be released when you're watching this. So you can also select that. The loader version, just the newest one. And the install location is correct by default. Now, because I'm using MultiMC, I'm gonna just create a new instance. 1.20.1 optimization. Create that 1.20 version. Go in the edit instance. Go to install fabric. So for me, it's a lot easier because I'm using this. And now it's time for the mods. So I will probably put this into a mod pack and leave it to the download. But since it's the June 14th right now, and you're watching this probably later than f June 14th, there might be newer versions. So I'll also this leave a list of links in the description so you can download the newer versions. But for me, I'm just gonna click a download on every single one. If you wanna have an explanation, we can also probably just do that real quick. Fabric API, you need this pretty much for any other Fabric mod. Sodium is the most important mod out of this whole list. It's like basically Optifine, but for um, for fabric. Then Lithium, you just need to add it. Starlight for, um, for lighting issues that are fixed. This is just for faster loading times of resource packs. Over here, this is something with a network. Dynamic FOV, if you close down Minecraft, like if you tab out, the FPS in the background will get reduced so that you can still do other things while having Minecraft open. And then Ferrite Core for some other memory optimizations. Then I'll open up this folder, just select everything except for the installer, of course. And um, for you, it's gonna be press Windows and R or just go to your Katana thingy here, type in percentage app data percentage. If you're on Mac, you'll have to look up how it works for yourself, but oh, wait, what? What the hell just happened? Okay, anyways, <laughs> then go to your .minecraft folder and mods. If you don't have a mods folder, just create one, lowercase m-o-d-s, and just drag and drop all those mods in here. I will have to drop it into another folder because, again, I'm using multi-mc. Um, mods. Put that in there. Also, mods are probably not gonna look this weird for you. It's gonna be like a Java icon. Just uh, just a heads up there, right? So, all of the mods are now in. We can start the Minecraft version. And of course, you need to use Java 11. I uh, forgot about that. If you're not using MultiMC, you don't have to do this, but I just need to select 1.17. Press enter to enable the narrator. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so, so annoying. All right, we've got Minecraft now, that's amazing. So the settings that I'm gonna show you after I adjust my GUI scale, that was annoying. The settings that I'm gonna show you are the most important ones. Let me just go into a world real quick. Oh, they changed how this looks, let's go, okay. Yep, so right now it's still pretty laggy. It's 60 FPS, sometimes 70 FPS, 80, 90. All right, that's fine though, because the settings are where all the FPS come from. So render distance, I'll just keep that at eight, which is the 1.8 uh, usual thing. Simulation, I'll put that to eight as well, it doesn't really matter. If you're on servers, you can't really change the simulation distance anyways, so brightness, I'll just put that up for preference. Vsync, bleh, type, uh, put that off. Frame rate, well, unlimited doesn't exist anymore, but 260 is the max, so that's fine. Anything over 260 wouldn't even, well, anything over, I guess, 180, 120, doesn't really give you much of a advantage anyways, so that's perfectly fine. I don't like this, I don't like this. All right, so quality. Fa graphics, you wanna put those on fast. Obviously all of this only applies if you have a low end PC. If your PC is really good, then you don't need to do any of this. Um, but, well, I will, just for the sake of this video. Turn off clouds. Some of these things are just personal preference as well. 
smooth lighting you want to have that on usually if you want to have your game at least look somewhat good <laughs> but here as i said i'm showing you how it looks um no how you get the best performance all right and i think that's pretty much it already and there we go we just went from 90 to at least 300 400 300 60 fps and without the mods it would have been even less than 60 fps at the start so that's a pretty good improvement listen to what my desktop background says and if you need any other tutorials just comment down below and i will probably make it if you want to see a video about the best quality of life mods i will probably make that soon as well and leave it on the end screen if it's already released